That was good. This is my shine. Uh, uh, it's your boy Bobby Shmurda. What's up, y'all? It's Sebastian Michael. What's up? It's your girl Jasmine Sullivan. Hey, what up? It's your girl Tina Ashe. Yeah, so we're Nico and Vince. It's your boy Avery Wilson. This is Bridget Kelly. And this is Brandy. And you're checking out Music Exclusives TV. Don't go anywhere. Hi, guys. It's me again, Kadir Tusilla. And I'm here with Music Exclusives TV. And today, we're with the one and only Miss Tiana Wallace, oh Biggie's daughter. How oh, are you? Hey, how you doing? I'm good. So, can you tell me about today is his birthday, your father's birthday? It's his birthday. We're how in do you... Brooklyn right now. We're celebrating. We're trying to shut everything down with the concert. Oh, we're shutting everything down. Everything. Brooklyn is crazy right now. I know. How was the concert? How was the concert last night? Because I last know night... the bad boy family reunion was last night. So, how was that? All day long, I was running around. It was the craziest day ever. Then I finally got to the concert. Best huh. show ever i had so much fun it was, it was faith, a great show. faith evans performed she did performed a couple of other people the performed. locks jay-z was there nas puff did his thing mary puff. j Bly. yeah i've seen that i've seen that so i actually want to ask you being the daughter of biggie smalls let us know how was that pressure like like um pressure is it pressure or is it like you know what the wallace name is big i'm not gonna lie it's a big name i'm not gonna lie people would be like um as soon as they hear my last name they're like are you related to biggie and i'm yeah. like yeah <laughs> so, the, so the name is a lot of pressure i try and just you know continue the legacy that's why i started my clothing line dedicated to him and talk to me about that how's all that my, going all my clothing line notorious i named okay. it after him it's dedicated to him i just wanted to keep something going i'm not into music i don't rap or anything i was just gonna ask you that have you ever thought about rapping exactly yeah i'm not i don't have that magical talent unfortunately i don't rap so i was like let me do something that i love and dedicate it to him so okay. i started my clothing line i called it notorious okay. and then i just dedicated it to him okay and where can everyone go to get this clothing line online yeah i have a website notorious.com it's notorious with two s's okay so notorious.com and okay. yeah that's usually and i do pop-up shops around new york but usually oh, everyone what, just what part like what side i'm always in brooklyn always okay. in brooklyn so i want to i want to do other places but right now i'm usually in brooklyn really yeah okay so how is your relationship with lil c's because i know he's like your brother i feel like he's like your mentor how do you like how are you guys' relationship um because he is your father's best friend i know before. me and c's okay so i used to live um in pennsylvania and then as soon as i moved to new york i moved kind of by c's and ever since then i'm like always with him right. i'm always like calling is he him. like your bodyguard he's no he's not like my no. bodyguard no. he's like my little he's like my partner in crime almost okay. almost okay. he's like my partner in crime because we'll we'll go out we'll randomly go get food he'll always call me like what are you doing i'm like i'm in my house he's like let's go get food i'm like all right really so how's your relationship with diddy and because he was close to bigs as well so how's your relationship with him now our relationship is honestly it's better now me and okay. him finally have gotten to talk more okay so that's we're, good yeah i know we feel like we're better we're in a better place now i feel like me and him he's in this new he's telling everybody he's in this new space in life he wants right. to you know be more open be loving and i feel it too like right. i feel like we're everybody's in a better place okay it feels like the, i well i feel like there's a lot of um reconciliation like everyone kind of made up because it was a con it was a, it was a lot of drama going on before but how do you feel about it now as far as the family and the tension has everything died down are everyone like close now i feel like honestly with pup doing the concert and then with it being my dad's birthday everybody right. was just like honestly it's big's birthday let's just chill out let's right. be friends right. let's just you know spread let's the all love. sit down like yeah, yeah but, uh -huh. i feel like everyone was just like you know it's big's birthday let's just get together let's do this for him and it actually came together perfectly and everyone's just calm now that's good when he told you about it how did you feel about it I was, the bad boy tour i was like do it I, right. to, I thought he was just doing a concert for one day, so I was like, as long as I'm there, I don't yeah, care. Yeah, this is going on for like a, the whole week, yeah, basically. Yeah, no, he's doing a, a whole tour now. Yeah, it's, it's big. It's big. Across the whole thing, so right. I'm like, yeah, do that tour. Spread the love. Right. Are you going to be throughout the tour the whole time, or are you going to be in New York? I'm going to be in New York. in Brooklyn. I'm going to be in New York working on my clothing, clothing line. line. I'm not even trying to travel all over with them. <laughs> okay. No way. All right, well, anything you want to tell everyone as far as being Big's daughter, anything you want to tell um, how do you want people to look at you check out the clothing line i want everyone to look into the clothing line i'm always doing new stuff i'm always doing pop-up jobs okay and yeah just keep um spreading the love and supporting right are you still in school no i graduated, graduated? yeah i graduated from penn state two years ago okay well congratulations thank you okay and once again we're here live with music exclusive tv with the one
one and only Tiana, Big's daughter. Lil C's in the building. It's Bad What's Boys up? Family Reunion That's Tour. Right. What's good? How are you? I'm chilling. I'm chilling. Blessed. How was the show last night? The show was phenomenal. It was awesome. It was historical. You know, it's it's crazy. Like, I feel like the idea, I know it's uh, Diddy's idea, but how did you feel when he came to everyone with the idea of I having mean, everyone together? It was dope. It was something that needed to be. You know what I mean? At the end of the day, the legacy that that bad boy thing left is still keeping us going now. It was something that needed to be done because was, everybody was going out doing all these separate shows. It was 112 and Faith and Mason the Lots, me and Jada. Like, just to still have that impact after 20 years later, it was like, yo, it's only right we try to do this one big show and kind of put everybody together on together, one bill. Yeah. So we got a chance to see how it could work yesterday, you know what I mean? And right. it was a, and Lil Kim it was a perform, great look. Faith Lil Evans Kim, perform, Faith, total 112, perform. Carl Thomas, the Mario Lock, Wynans perform. Mace, Mario Wynans, me. It was uh, crazy. So I mean, many everybody, people. That was the first time when you literally had everybody, 112, together. the whole bad boy roster of that era was on that stage, Black Rob. You know what I mean? Like, it was, it was sick, yo. It was How sick. many years has it been, though? Like, for everyone, because everyone has been doing their separate shows. Yeah, yeah. How many years has it been since everyone just got together and started, like, doing music together I mean, in we, one place? All of us never did a whole tour. Like, when we did the first Bad Boy right. tour, Faith wasn't on that tour. That's true. Um, I don't think Mario Wanda was on that tour. But Mario was, but Mario was doing background stuff. So, this okay. was like the, literally the first time where it was everybody, Faith and Kim, was on the stage together. You know what I mean? Like... Real historical moments that That's, never happened before. So never, those are the things you look at and go, wow, like you know what I'm saying? Because back in them days you couldn't put them together, but then to see them on stage 20 years later celebrating, that was special. But you know, we all just honoring just that that impact and that legacy we had. It's like none of us hold no grudges. There was no pride. It was just us going out there, accepting and being appreciated of having this longevity that we do have, to see people come out there and celebrate and sell out a show. Show in 15 minutes, you know what I'm saying? And oh my God. Sell out show. Special, That's crazy. You know what I'm saying? Were you Shout out to Diddy for that though. Shout out to Puff Daddy for putting it when together. He came, you know what I'm when he came with you with the idea, how like were, did you jump on it right away or were you a little iffy? Because it, everything wasn't all good before, yeah, you know? He didn't come at me. It was just that oh. once it was done, it was just I right, reach out to the people that need to be included. It was just like once you reach out to one, one reached out to the other, oh, the other okay. reached out to the other, oh. and then when it came solid, then he reached out like, all right, let's oh, get it okay. together. But everybody was kind of getting hints about it. He would talk to Faith about it. He would talk to Mace about it. And I would think to Mace, Mace would tell oh, me about it. Then. Connected, yeah, you know oh. what I mean? Because it took a while to get everybody together, but you know, everybody pulled through. You know, that's what I mean? the beautiful thing. Through. That's a beautiful thing. Yeah. For How sure. are you? How's your relationship now with Lil Kim? Being as though in the media before, you know, everyone yeah. was kind of like, you know, it wasn't. You guys wasn't in good terms. Yeah, yeah. How yeah. was it now? Have you had that sit down with her? Have, did you nah, talk to her? Sit down. We ain't have a sit down yet, but we always been all right. Yeah. You know what I mean? We went through our little situation, but that's when it was fresh and it was in the beginning. And you only go through things with people because you're close with them. Right. When you don't care about nothing, you kind of let it go. You you kind of more. And she was like a sister to you, right? Because she used to. And she still is like a sister to me. That love right. don't change because you may have. Or up and down or a bad situation with somebody that's what family go through right. you know what I mean right. we ain't family if I can't argue with you exactly. if I can't say how I feel so every I think everybody goes through those trials and tribulations and right now we at that point to where we could be in the space and we both be comfortable and we not uncomfortable oh, yeah, and yeah. we're working on getting it together but I'm always up for it and you know and it seems like she's coming around to it you know you gotta just let God plan that right, and let right, God right. make it right but God is pushing steps Forward to it because we could be in the same room. We were on the same stage yesterday, so That's that what was I'm a saying. start. Like, you guys were in the same you stage. I, mean? so I got on because you guys got on right after me. Like oh. we was on the same stage. Like you know what I mean. Right. So it was. But well, that's because the you guys didn't have that bad boy thing, you know what I mean? Everybody right. else, everybody had their little situations, and but we was all together on that stage for right. one cause, mm -hmm. and that was the bad boy reunion, and that was to celebrate for B.I.G. You know what yeah. I'm saying? So you know. Let's talk about something that happened today that is basically historical. It's it it's history today. Christopher uh, Wallace Day. I see it. You know, we repping that. The Brooklyn, the president of Brooklyn, that's right. Just signed 
the legislation. Today is May 21st. It is officially a holiday, Biggie yes. Smalls holiday. Yes. How do you feel about that? I feel great, man. You know, I, when we first went in there and his daughter accepted it, right. the legislation, I, it didn't really hit me there until like three hours later. And I put it on my Instagram. Everybody was just like, wow, that's amazing. Yeah. I had to sit back and go, damn, my boy died 24 years old, straight off the block in Brooklyn, talked about the struggle in his life and let you know he can still make it out of this ghetto. Exactly. To see him get honored in that way of like, you know, you know, you see Martin Luther King Day. You know, you see these no, days no going no. We got a biggie small, the Christopher Wallace <laughs> day. Like now I can barbecue, I can cut my block off and have cookouts. And, right. Yo, I oh. hope the kids get a day off. I hope people get a day off work. I hope it's one of them real kind of holidays. And if it is, that's just like that's special, man. Right. Just and to no, know that special. I was connected to that. Like, you know what I mean? Like And it happened yo. today. How did it happen? Like did they call Tiana and the family and they told you guys about to come in? Yeah, I got a call for my PR like Your PR? Days before that. Like, yo, okay. they giving us uh, legislation to make a, a biggie day and you gotta go with his daughter. Okay. And I was just like say no more. I would love to be a part of it. Just even getting that call to be a part of that just made my made my day and to share it with his kids just made it that much more special. You know what I mean? No, like I rep this BI thing for life. Like, you know what I mean? Like you know I live it. and breathe that biggie shit to the heart. You know what I'm saying? Like I'm the reason you're talking to me right now because of that the right. gate he opened up for me. So right. it's my job. Are you still gonna continue are you continuing now to put out music and how yes, is that yes. talk to me about you? I got a uh, I got a project coming out called The Heart of the City. Okay. It'll probably be out like around July. I've been working on it for like about a year now, but you know, just running around. You know, I got a fitness company called Hard Body Fitness. So I've been really just trying to get into my entrepreneurial spirit and, and right. brand my own self. And I'm trying to step out that shadow of being Biggie's little guy. You know, it's like now I want to come out of that. That's the legacy. That's the thing that started me. But Seeds is what I want to be a Seeds brand. I want to make my own you brand be your now. Own self now. Yeah, you know, no, you know I'm trying it's to soak in everything I learned from all these years now and incorporated what I'm trying to do right now. So I'm just trying to build my own lane, get my own music out there, and get my fitness company out there going. And you know, try to remain positive. Right. Speaking of that, there was the movie, the biopic movie of Biggie Smalls and Mark John Jeffries played you. Yeah, that's my boy. Shout you out to Mark Jeffries, man. Job. Did you pick him or well, how they, did that they, they had, um, He was like one of the people that they, um, they, that they had auditioned. Okay. But they showed me him before they showed me anybody else. And I knew him from the losing Isaiah. And I was right. like, yo, nah, don't get nobody yo. That's a real actor. I saw him in movies. I went, you know, and yeah, I knew no, he could a... act. So, you know, at that time, I just like, I wasn't playing into that. I was just blessed that I was a part of having right. somebody. Do you feel like he, he played a good role as in your story, in the yeah, real story? Yeah, that's yeah. who I, you know, that's who I was. You know yeah. what I mean? Of course, they tweaked it up a little bit, you know they what I'm saying? But, yeah, you know, you got to put some things in movie form, but I was just blessed and happy just to, you know, I was young, you know, to have somebody play me over in the movie, right. that only happened to people that's like already passed I know. And, and they, or that's older and, right. you know, I was being, I had somebody playing me over before I was 30 years old, you know what I mean? That's, yeah. that's an amazing that's, thing. That's they actually special, have man. the Tupac biopic, biopic film yeah, coming I'm up now. Yeah, I'm looking forward to that one. So and I, any... They had somebody play me over in that one too. You know oh, really? I mean? yeah, yeah. Oh, wow. Okay. You know, I'm part of that story. Like, I, you know, I sit back and think sometimes like, right. I don't. How I, do you feel about that movie? I feel like everyone oh, is gonna, anticipating that I one a lot too. I think it's going to be great. I think it's going to be just as big as big movie. I think it's going to be really dope. Right. I mean, them two rappers have stories to tell. Right. You know, we're talking about them 20 years from now. Right. We're making movies about them. Pac is just as big as Big he was. He he was just important as to Big as to hip hop as to Big too. You know what I'm saying? Like those are our two kings of the game. Hip hop got real when they passed. You know what I'm right saying? Now. Like we do you really feel realized like if, what we lost. With them do you too. feel like if they were still alive, that they would be able to sit down and kind of reconcile all the beef that they had? Yeah, that would have been done. That would have been done. If yeah. they were still alive, that would have been done. Maybe that year, wow. that year later. That shit. I feel like that shit wasn't about nothing. It wasn't about what people really thought it was. There was a lot of media hype, a lot of media things. It was easy. It could have got fixed, and it was going to get fixed. Okay. All right. Well, thank you for coming by. Anytime. I Once appreciate again, it. happy birthday to Vince. Happy we made birthday history to with this man. today. <laughs> it's B.I.G. Day. B.I.G. Music love exclusive you forever. TV, guys. <laughs> I love you forever. Shout out to CJ, Tiana, Faith, Jen. 
Junior Mafia. Shout out to Mama Wallace. Yes. Shout out to the whole Brooklyn. Oh, Best Tiana, Five, we see you. Clinton Hill. Music exclusive. <laughs> Being locked to the Christopher Wallace way, so we need mad support. Yep. But happy birthday That's to the right. GOAT. That's we love right. you, baby. Heard it here live. Music exclusive TV, oh. guys. We'll catch you guys later. <laughs> Mess around and made a milk box material. You feel me? Stealing chips.